What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Adventure Time Prospecting. It's Friday morning, kind of sitting here on my break at work, dreaming about going prospecting tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Woo, and here we are. Are you that right, Jake? Yes. Down here with my son, Jake. There he is. Everybody tell him hi. Down here at the river, beautiful Saturday, just like I told y'all it's gonna be. We're down here, you can see the sluice set up behind us. I'm gonna flip y'all around and show you what we're doing. Look at here, y'all. We got clay. See here? Nice gloppy clay. And we got black sands laying right on top of that clay. Here's what we're doing. We're gonna go down, get that first layer of clay and then black sands, just like that. Then we'll come over here, pour them in that. Then we'll screen it all down, get everything down in there, and then we'll go run it through the sluice. So we'll check back in with y'all once we get this bucket with a little bit more in it, get her filled up. I just want to give a quick shout out to my great friends, Alicia Hinkle and Mike Buzzard. Great viewers of the show, big fans. <laughs> They even got me to sign their pan. All right, y'all. As you can tell, we blowed this clay layer out pretty daggum good. We got the top layer of sand, black sand, filled up like a super full bucket and a three-quarter full of a whole bucket. So that's what we got going on. There's the clay area and the area we've been working. So we'll catch up and see y'all at the sluice. All right, y'all, here we are here at the sluice. We got our two giant full buckets. We got Jake and my boy here to help us. Uh, we're ready to start rocking this out. Now, I already took that little kitchen brush and brushed all the cells out. Because if you don't, you have them air bubbles and they'll go right on over them. Anyhow, we'll check back in. And this sucker chomps right on through it. That dual dream mat set up is the bee's knees. I love it. We just got us a little battery, a little small deep cycle. We got us a minter bucket with our pump in it. And we're just here rocking and rolling. We'll check back in when we get more run. Get to be safe, everybody. <laughs> Check out this crazy looking bug, y'all. Here's my finger for reference. He's a honker, I don't know what he is. I'll move this log so he can stay in the shade though. Cause he's alive. We'll keep him out of the way. All right, y'all, here we got two empty buckets. Sluice is running the last of it out. We'll go ahead and shut her down. Yoink. Let me go to the other side, get my shadow out of here. That's all we're left with, folks. Just what's tangled up in them cells. So we're gonna take this back to the house. We'll see y'all out there. And we'll run this stuff, hopefully find us some gold in it. I like to rinse it out a little bit into a bucket before I take the bats out. Let's get some of the bigger stuff out of there before things get out of hand.
All right, everybody, we're packing up to head to the house. As you can see, here's what we're left with. Let's see if you can see all the black sands and that stuff. It's thick with them. Anyhow, we're going to take this on to the house, put it through our cleanup sluice, and see what we get out of it. We'll see y'all at the house unless we find something awesome on our way out. Adventure time prospecting and sun out. Get to be safe, everybody. <laughs> we gotta check this out. This is right where I found it. I picked it up and looked at it, but check this out. <laughs> Look at that, how big that rascal is. Holy cow. I don't know if that's an atlatl point or what. Mr. Scott Clegg, Clegg's Adventures, if you know what this is or could be, please let me know. It looks like it's made out of canal black and it it's what I got left is pretty substantial size. <laughs> Venture time prospecting out. All right, folks, y'all know where we're at now. <laughs> Frankie ball, Frankie ball. Oh, look at that sweet point we pulled out today. That thing would have been huge. Looks like it had some tip damage. And of course the base is snapped. That thing, thing would have been really cool if it was all there, but man oh man, I'm glad to have it. That's awesome. All right, we'll see y'all at the sluice. All right y'all, we're gonna start feeding this little monster and we'll check back in with you when we got it all poured out in the pan and we're ready to see what's in it. All right, everybody, we done got it all run. We're going to shut it down. Anything that drips off is going to go into there. I don't know if there's any gold showing or not. We're going to have a look. You're going to have a look with me because I can't see. We're gonna, yep, we got gold in there. Look at that, Jake. Mm -hmm. Got a line of gold right there. All the way across. Look at there. There's another little pile of gold. All these little dealios have some gold in them. Look at that. Man, oh man. It looks like we might have had us a pretty decent run. I so. Yeah, we'll be right back. We're going to get it in to clean it in this here tub, and then we're going to put it in the gold pan and see what we got. All right, y'all. We got that little mini sluice cleaned up, and this is all we're left with, with those two big old five-gallon buckets we got right there on that beach. So I'm going to bump it around on the cement, try to get some of that gold bark down there, and we'll flip it back. See if we got any collar peeking out at us. Which I know it's in there because we already seen it in the sluice. <laughs> yep. There it comes. Look at that. Look at that, Jake. Oh, yeah. That's all, all kinds of gold there. showing up. I'm going to set the phone down and try and tamp this up, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, you got to check this out. Of course, there's the black sand. There's still more gold tied up in that stuff, but I hope y'all can see this gold glimmering on this beautiful summer day. Check that out. <laughs> Look at that. Right out of West Virginia, y'all. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. That's just out of those two five-gallon buckets. Let me bring this over in the shade, see if y'all can see it just a little bit better. Get the glare off. Oh, yeah. Y'all can see it a lot better now. Check that out. That's freaking sweet. You got to remember, this is in West Virginia, a state that has no active gold mines or history of active gold mines. Look at there. Well, I guess except for me, <laughs> I'm an active gold mine. Check that out. Yeah. There it was, y'all. Showing y'all once again how to find gold in Appalachia, West Virginia, wherever else y'all's at. Jake already left, or else he'd be right here. Right here with me. That was my son. He's not here right now, so throw him some love down there in the comments. I appreciate it, and so would he. That's my boy, Jacob. 
that's my number one love right there. That's ah, that's my life, man. I'm telling you. Anyhow, I'm gonna get off here, and we'll see you guys on the next Adventure Time prospecting. We're gonna do a little product review we got coming up. Bought a funky looking sluice. Y'all's gonna love it. It's wild. It's crazy collared. Y'all gonna love it. Anyhow, peace, love, and prospecting. We will see you on the next Adventure Time Prospecting. This is James. Get out there and explore. Love y'all.